What is going on guys? My name is Jay Gray BKK and welcome to this new video. Uh, just a couple days ago, we were having a question of how can I record from my phone to YouTube or to make videos? And so that's what we're going to do today is we're gonna talk about three apps that I use personally uh, to record my videos as well as make YouTube videos. Um, but I will put a little um, warning, caution, I, I don't know what to call it. I don't really use these anymore because right now I'm recording almost everything on my computer. But this is how I started out and this is how I worked and these are the apps of choice for me. So. The apps that we are looking at right now are MobyZen on top right there, and then you have YouTube and Streamlabs. First off, MobyZen, we'll open that up right away, and you'll see that my little logo popped up, and there will be an ad every single time. But this is the app that you want to be using if you want to record videos for your gameplay. So pretty much all you do is you open up your games that you're going to want to play. So let's do that. We'll have uh, CNC, Command and Conquer be the game that we're looking at today and so you can see my little my little icon right here that's great uh you can either choose to have that on your videos or not but you just click it and then you can push that little camera right there it'll start spinning it'll give you a countdown and right now i'm in clean mode so it's not going to show the actual uh watermark logo that i made when you're done recording all you have to do is you have to pull down on that screen at the top and it will tell you that hey you're recording right now go ahead and press that and it will stop recording for you. Then you have the option to delete your phone, or delete your phone, delete the video, close it, or you can go back and watch it. We'll go ahead and we'll just delete that one. Now let's go in and look at a couple of the settings here and uh, see what you can do here. So you can go down and you can go down to your videos that you made and they all have a ton of advertisements. Uh, but once, oh, I'm sorry. We need to click on this middle icon right here. Uh, there are no recorded videos. I have deleted all my videos uh, prior to this, but all of your videos will be right here. And if you wanna change any settings, so for example, you can change clean recording mode. You just turn that off right there and that will make it so that you have the watermark, this little guy right here, you will have that up in the corner of your screen. Some people like it, some people don't. Hey, it's up to you. Uh, you can also select the recording mode. Do you want to have it to be internal recording or do you want to be recording from a microphone and that I think is pretty cool now the issue with recording with internal music or internal game sounds is you can't record with a microphone so you're just going to have the game sounds if you saw my uh, command and conquer video that I just put out a couple days ago I did it that exact way you can only hear in game sounds you can't hear anything outside it doesn't use any microphones or anything like that now if you use the external microphone you can use a microphone with it but you don't get game sounds unless you're recording from the game speaker itself, which makes it a little bit more difficult and it's just not as good. I don't like it personally. And so, um, well, I don't like the game sound, like recording the game sounds like that. So what I used to do is I would actually just record uh, with the external mic and just put music in the background and play the game that way. And you know what? That worked for me. Um, and right there, it'll tell you exactly what's going to happen and what's good for that type of recording. Then we also have the air open circle. You can have it be the MobyZen logo. You can have it be your own picture and you can also choose the size here. You can make that grow. You can make it shrink as you want. Uh, so I think that's, it's a really good app. It works really nicely. You could set the countdown. Uh, you could set where it's going to be stored to and all that good stuff. Um, I think it's a really good app if you want to make videos. Now they do have a live stream app. I have never used it. So I'm not going to say, Hey, you should go and use this. I, I would, you could try it but I'm not gonna uh, sponsor that app itself. And then when you wanna close the app itself, you just drop that down there right like that and you're good to go. Now, app number two is the app that I have used the most when I did all my live streams starting out. I would use the YouTube Studio app, all right? And right there you can see, shit, this is the wrong app. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go over here, let's get the right one. There we go, YouTube Gaming app. Let's pop that, let's see. Add to the home screen. Here we go. The YouTube Gaming app right here, this is the app that I would use 
for everything. This one right here. This app is great. It's super easy to use and it's perfect if you want to stream to YouTube. All you have to do is you open up YouTube gaming app, then you push this little icon that's the up arrow up in the top and then it will ask you, do you want to stream or do you want to record? I have never recorded with this, but you get the options to record in 720 or you can record in 480. Uh, and if you go to stream, you push stream, you push next, then it's going to tell you, hey, here's a few tips. Then you move on and you get to pick which app you want to stream. And so we can go down here. None of these apps are any of the apps that I've streamed recently. Uh, so let's let's go find Command and Conquer here because that is the new game that is out in pre-alpha, which I am making videos for at the moment. Let's see. Is it not on here? Let's keep going. Let's. There we go. Oh, it's because it's called Rivals. Command and Conquer Rivals. Then you can change the name of your stream right here. So C, C and C, Rivals. And watch me play Rivals. Click Next. And then it's going to tell you, hey, do you want to share this to social media? Which is fantastic. It gets your message out. You don't have to leave the app, really. Kind of do. It opens up the other app so you can send it. And then it goes right back to the main app. Uh, so you can do that on all of your social medias. And once you do that, the app will open up to start streaming that game. I don't know. Did I push cancel? There we go. So now the app has opened up. Let me get rid of my logo up here. That's going to be in the way for you guys on this. Now you have the options to uh, go live. You can record it. Uh, there. Let's get my face here. You can't see me because of my webcam. Let's move this over here. So you have your little face cam down here. Uh, so you can talk to the camera and you can let people see you. You will see the chat on the screen as well. You can get rid of the chat by clicking that button right there. And again, my logo is in the way. There we go. So if you push that little button right there, you can turn on or off the chat. And then as well as you can push that go live button and it will start streaming the whole thing. It's fantastic. It works really well. And I would really recommend this if you guys are looking to stream to YouTube. You can also mute your mic uh, by pushing the mic button right there as well. You also have some settings that you can change. Uh, how, how big or small do you want that? They also have filters, don't use those. Uh, so yeah, that's the YouTube streaming app. I think it's great. I would really recommend anybody who's looking to use YouTube to do it. Uh, it is the app to go to. So let's get rid of this. There we go, drop that there. That'll close it. Now, finally, the last app that I am just now getting into and I'm just now trying to play with and use, I think it is the most versatile of all the apps, which is the Streamlabs, uh, the Streamlabs app because it lets you do so much with it. You're not only gonna be able to stream, but if you are streaming from your computer, this acts as a remote, which is great. Uh, so essentially, this is your Elgato game, I think it's called the Elgato Gamepad or something like that. You can use your phone instead to be able to launch everything. So when you first start up, it's gonna say, hey, log into Streamlabs. When you log into Streamlabs, you can log in with Twitch, you can log in with YouTube, or you can log in with Mixer. So it works for all three. That's why I really like this app right now. And then if you push this button right here at the top, as you can see that screen right there, there, I'll push it so it goes off. Right there, you can see your camera. I'm sorry, my desk is super messy right now. But anyways, you can turn the camera on or you can have it go so that it's uh, screen capturing your, uh, your gameplay. You push a little red button down in the corner and it goes live. Now, the cool, cool thing about this app, my favorite part about the app is if we go over and we look at the menus up here, you have live, you have editor, alert profiles, remote control, as I was just mentioning a moment ago, and then the settings. If we go over to editor, we can see here that we have an event list right here. So you can see who has, uh, who has subscribed to you, who has followed you, who has uh, sent you bits or a donation. You have your alert box that will alert when that stuff happens and it'll have a little runny guy or a different emote that you have set for that. You also have your donation goal. If you have donation goals, you can also put those up there so people know how much money you're trying to get that day. And then finally, you have the wonderful chat box as well. So this is another app where you can see all the chat and it's an overlay 
uh, to what you're doing. You can also come in here and you can see all the different options. So they have the jar. If you're used to Twitch, you know what the jar is. Uh, donation ticker, end credits if you have those, a viewer count, you stream boss, follower goals, big goals. It's fantastic. Okay, there are just so many different options to be using with this uh, with this platform, and all you have to do is once you hit that, once you have this open, you go to your application, you hit live, and then you can stream whatever games you are planning on streaming, and you're done. That's it. That is how you guys. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. The music. Uh, that's all you have to do and that's how you guys can also stream to YouTube, stream to Twitch. Uh, I would really recommend trying Streamlabs out, but then again, it depends on what phones you are using, your internet, and if you're able to do it. Now, if you're not able to stream from your phone because your phone doesn't have the support for different games like this or uh, games that require a lot, the next option that you can go with is streaming from uh, stream, uh, Bluestacks. Bluestacks is an online emulator that you can use to play games and you can stream from that as well. If you're doing that, that means that you're on a computer, so you'll want to get OBS or you'll want to get Streamlabs and then you can easily record from that. But I think that is a video for another day. But you guys, I hope this helps you out. I hope that you can go and do some South Park Phone Destroyer, some Might and Magic Elemental Guardians or uh, PUBG or even right there, uh, Command and Conquer Rivals. And I really hope that this helped you out. If it did, please make sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you thought that this video was subpar, it could do better. Push that down vote button. Also, don't forget to leave your comments. Did it work for you? What games are you streaming? Also, hey, you know what? Leave your streams down in the uh, comments below. And I'll be sure to go check them out when I see you're online. Or I'll go check out your videos. Maybe we can be friends. Maybe we can work together. I don't know. Also, you can follow me over on social medias at Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. JGrayBKK for all of those. So, you guys, thank you very much for showing up. Thank you so much for being a part of this YouTube community that I'm making. And I really, really hope to see more people jump, jumping in and starting to make some new things. So, that'll be all. Everybody, have a wonderful day. Peace out. My name is Jay Gray BKK. <laughs>